Hi, I'm Masa and I'm the creator of DIY Stitches and I'm going to teach you about the tools you need for pattern making. Now, I know there's a lot of tools out there and I know it gets very confusing, but these are the tools that you'll need for not only making female clothes, but you can make male and children's with these as well. These are industry standard. I've been working with these patterns ever since I was in the fashion industry. Um, these are also great to have if you rub off your patterns from other different garments, as well as if you go ahead and work only with commercial patterns too, because these are the same exact tools that were used to draft those commercial patterns like Simplicity and McCall's. So these are great to have as well as even if you work with your commercial pattern. These are the pattern tools you need to make any garment. As you can see, it's not as much as you probably expected. I have worked with every tool that has been put out on the market. In the fashion industry, we only use these tools. You'll be able to make any clothes you want. You have to always remember you need your separate pair of scissors to cut your paper pattern. So make sure you have a pair of a good paper shear just like I have here. This is only going to be used for paper cutting. You also need a pattern notcher. This is kind of like a kind of a hole puncher feeling, you know, because it has one of these handles, but it doesn't punch a hole. It makes a little notch on the side of the pattern. And this is how you match up your front and your back of your pattern or your skirt or your leg. Okay. Pattern all. A, what a pattern all is, is to transfer your darts and your pleats from your muslin or your draped item or your other pattern or your other pre-made garment onto your pattern by piercing small little holes that don't really hurt much. Now, you definitely need to use a special board for that, but we're not going to get into that right now. But you do need a nice pattern making all. And also your tape measure, okay? So make sure you have a tape measure. This is a French curve. This is a very particular shape French curve. So don't forget, you absolutely need a French curve for your pattern making. So this here is um, a very particular shape. It's used for your underarms as well as necklines. There's no other tool for that. You need a yardstick, okay? This is a yardstick. It's a little bit bigger than my picture frame here, but you need a yardstick, okay? These are 36 inches long. My truth is that you should get a metal one than the wood ones. The wood ones do tend to start chipping quite quickly and you don't want that to mess up your lines on your pattern. Um, also, this does not have a cork backing. You do not want one with a cork backing for your pattern making. Your see-through ruler. Okay, um, this is very important for your seam allowances when you're adding them back on from drafting a pattern. Um, this is approximately two inches wide by 18 inches long. As you can see, it's called a see-through ruler because, because you can see right behind it. This is a hip curve. These There are two types of hip curves that you will need. As you can see, they both have a little bit of a different angle or curvature to their ruler. This, the top one has much more of a dramatic curve and the shorter, the one underneath has more of a less dramatic curve, okay? But you do need both of them and they're both known as hip curves. These in particular are about 24 inches long. You need an L square ruler. This is perfect for your 90 degree angle marks okay so it's really important to have one of these as well it's called an l square ruler and it's all metal as well and there you have it those are the tools that you need to make a proper pattern if you have any questions or comments please go ahead and comment below and i promise to get back to you other also please like my page on DIY Stitches on Facebook, as well as DIY Stitches on YouTube. I'll see you around again. Have a great day and take care.